started with the next um, part of our program. Um, coming up next is a, a panel discussion, a very interesting one that is focused on the more or less the business and funding sides of um, combating terrorism, technology, entrepreneurship. This is an area of uh, startup of the startup world that is somewhat dif different than the um, traditional startups that we're all familiar with. Um, for example, venture capitalists play less of a role in this in this part of the the startup uh, world, and government funding agencies tend to play a larger role. Um, we have some representatives, both of um, uh, uh, very important government funding agencies, including the sponsors of this program, uh, who can, will describe what they what they do and how it, how it matters to uh, entrepreneurs, and a um, couple of folks from the uh, the business side, from the uh, private company side. Um, I'll introduce the moderator, and then uh, the moderator will, will do the hard work of introducing everybody else. Um, let me first thank R Rami Efrati, who is a last-minute substitute for Amir Rappaport, who is the uh, person in your, in your program, um, who, who had, a, had a, a sudden other engagement. Rami was uh, kind enough to step in and um, take Amir's place for this. Rami is a uh, expert in cyber technology methods and the former head of the civilian division of the Israel National Cyber Bureau of the Prime Minister's Office. Um, he uh, is a colonel reserve in the IDF. Um, we spent more than 28 years, commanded numerous prestigious operational and technological positions in military intelligence received the Creative Thinking Award from the Director of Military Intelligence. Um, he also has 16 years of civilian experience and has been involved in uh, entrepreneurial activities with both startup and established companies in the cybersecurity, high-tech, and biotech uh, sectors. Uh, Rami is a senior cyber fellow in the Yuval Neiman Workshop for Science, Technology, and Security at Tel Aviv University and in the ICT uh, Institute for Counterterrorism. He's currently serving the community as dis district government, governor of Lions Clubs in Israel. And Rami, I can honestly say that I'm happy that you didn't do more, because... <laughs> um, great. So uh, let me again thank, thank you for taking, uh, taking this role and introduce uh, the rest of the panel. Thank you very much, Gideon. First of all, I'm honored because my ex-commander of the uh, unit A200, uh, General Shlomo Inbar, is here, and uh, I'm very proud about it. Also, uh, it's a good opportunity to have you all here, and thank you for the invitation. I would like very much, first of all, to uh, thank our panelists who came all the way, uh, unless one who came from Israel, which is also not an easy way to come. Uh, all of them came from uh, overseas uh, to take a part in this panel. Um, one of the most important things that I decided to do in this panel is not to ask the uh, uh, panelists uh, a questions, questions or questions, although I have it, I would like you to ask them. Because I'm sure that most of the people who are in this room today are having a lot of questions. Should we go to this uh, anti-terrorism uh, technology? How does it work uh, with the government? What is your experience? How we are going to do it quickly? And I think it is very important. If not, don't worry. I have enough questions to, uh, to ask as well. I, uh, I'm not going to speak today anything about cyber, although I think cyber is taking a very important role in dealing with uh, anti-terrorism as a technology as well. And uh, ICT, the Institute for uh, uh, Anti-Terrorism, which Professor Boaz Ganor is going to speak later, is having several uh, uh, groups some of them are here, dealing also with the new technologies for anti-terrorism, which I believe is, is a great idea to deal together. Uh, I would like to, uh, first of all, to uh, present the uh, people who came all the way uh, to Israel. And although I will ask them also to present themselves, I would like to start with uh, Dr. Patricia Gruber, which is the Technical Director Office of Naval Research Global. In this role, she leads a group of technical experts who maintain global technology awareness. 
facilitate international research, collaboration, and provide uh, S&T advice and support to operational fleet forces. You have everything written, and I'm sure she will do it much better than me, but I think the, the fact that she came here all the way shows or gives us a message, a message that one of our main airlines in this business is the U.S., and I think this is something that we all, including all the people who are here, entrepreneurs, startups, etc., would like to ask her questions as well. I would like you, Patricia, please, to start with uh, presenting yourself and your uh, role and what are you doing, and then I'll come to the questions with all the other groups. 